Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marco sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Ha! <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right. I did something for you, now you do something for me. Get my wood! Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. Well, that's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it. It's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've gone to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you, send us a champion, someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. You called? <gasps> oh, Cassandra, you startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot in the sanctuary.
Cassandra, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? You mentioned the reward. Oh, of course. You've certainly earned it. <gasps> you don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. It's possible. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermes at the Drogorati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know Hermes. He can't be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave. All asking for different things. Go hear them yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right. Don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you step, Mystios. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. Someone dropped offerings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them away behind the statue. Oh, there's a draft here. A crack in the wall? I don't want to be spotted here. Bandits all along. People should have known something was off. And here's all their loot. No gods in the caves. Only bandits stealing people's hopes and Rahmi. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus bring his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry. I brought mine. That should be good enough. Uh. How'd it go with Marcos? How it always goes. I didn't get my money, and I'm running another errand for him. Why do you let him boss you around? I owe him a debt, from the past. Oh, did you borrow Vrachmi? Not that kind of debt. Few people would take in a runaway they caught thieving. I was just a kid. Huh. I'm just a kid and I've done pretty good for myself. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island? Why? People there are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. 
They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icarus... ...is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. Ugh. All right, I'll look into it. By the gods! What's away. happened here? You're murderers! Murderers! If the gods won't help you, this sickness must be destroyed by our hands. We have no choice. Help us! He won't let us go. What's going on? Kausos was consumed by plague. We couldn't keep up with the bodies. It was spreading. We had to intervene. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. We survived the massacre, but he'll kill us now. The gods have abandoned us. The sick must join the dead if we are to save the living. You burned the whole village? Many nights were lost praying. We had to take action. To scorch the blood fever out of Gaussos. Is there no hope for a cure? Nothing has worked. Sacrifice. Prayers. Healers won't come near us. Soldiers won't let us leave. The gods won't answer our prayers. But I don't know anything about the plague. <sighs> there is nothing you can do. No! If you intervene, I will be forced to defend the gods' wills. Save us from him! Have pity! We aren't even that sick! We'll get better! Nobody gets better! This is the only way all of Kefalonia will save itself from extermination! Please! We have children! Think of them! Don't regret stopping here, Mistios. Let them go! What? You're no god. Priest came from the underworld, some man of the god. Ah, the real god sent you. Time to go. We're well enough to travel, but need healing. Before you go, take my drachmi. It can't pay for what you gave us, but it's all we have. Forget about that. Just travel safely. Your gift from the gods, Eagle Bearer. I hope they bless you. Kina, be safe! <laughs> Mistios! Fresh vegetables for your journey! The juiciest in Kefalonia! I'm not really in the market for vegetables. No one is. Our stock is practically decomposing. We're trying to make enough rachmi to get out of Kefalonia. It's about time we moved on. I know what you mean. Wait. Creosa, you think she could help us? I think she could. You'll have to tell me what it is first. Are you scared of sharks, Mistios? I'm not scared of anything. That makes one of us. A very hungry one swims in our way of leaving Kefalonia. A shark? He guards a precious necklace. 
We get it, sell it, and leave Kefalonia. The old bandit who found it first buried the necklace on the shore, near a temple. And the fool didn't think. Water rises. Now the necklace may as well belong to the Sark. Vegetable drachme is all right, but necklace drachme is best. I know what it's like to want to leave Kefalonia. Who wouldn't? We have nothing here. As many vegetables as we please, but no hope. It's buried in a chest. If you get it for us, we'll take what we need to get out, and you can keep the rest. All right. I'll kill your shark. You'll skewer him. You'll find him deep in the ruins of Grani down south. To the shark's temple I go. I'll never look at another vegetable again after this. The necklace. That shark put up a good fight. He must have liked it. We can finally live. No more vegetables. <sighs> we'll have a new life. One far from our past. I know what that's like. Good luck. Turn down this bounty, Talos. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Can you fight? I'd be happy to. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakas sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Cassandra. I'm Odessa, named after the great Odysseus. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. What are you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. 
My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. Well, this is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. You look cute right now, as if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like being called cute. There are a few other ones I can think of that would suit you. I can't wait to hear them. How about beautiful? That works even better. The other ones will come later. I hope later comes soon. So what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? Odysseus didn't want to go to war. And once it was over, it took him ten years to get home. He wasted years of his life. All because the gods interfered. Stay home. Spend time with your family. Live your own life. But who will remember my story, then? Would you rather be remembered? Or happy? Hmm. I'll have to give that some thought. Thank you. Odysseus had to take care of his sick father, if I hope to be remembered. Cassandra! I haven't seen you since you took me to the ruins of Odysseus. Odessa, you remembered? Of course I do. You told me to stay home with my family. Seems like you're doing that. Not by choice. You asked if I wanted to be remembered or to be happy. Well, taking care of my sick father does not make me happy. I've seen a lot of people. But you're one of the most beautiful I've ever met. Is that so? You're a welcome distraction from my problems. If you have some time, maybe we could get to know each other a little better. Tell me more. Well, I can think of a few things. But let's talk some more first. Yeah. That sounds great. So how about it? You know, I'd love to, but I have a couple of things I need to pick up for my father first. If you helped me, then we could maybe continue our conversation. Don't worry, I'm here to help. What do you need? A few herbs from the Valley of King Lelech nearby. Also need a mixture from the market to combine with the herbs. There's a merchant there holding on to it for me. Is your father really so sick you can't get them yourself? I'm his only child. I'd rather be close by, in case he gets worse. Stay by your father. I'll be back with the herbs and the mixture. Those are the herbs Odessa needs.
that merchant should be the one Odessa mentioned. Tell your friends, tell your family, the best wares Drachmi can buy. Even mercenaries like you can find something. Odessa sent me. Ah, of course. Sweet girl. I wish she had stopped by herself. This is for her father, I imagine? I'll take the payment and you can be on your way. Here, take it. Quick sales are my favorites. I hope this helps Odessa. Are the herbs and mixture okay? You did get them, didn't you? That's what you're worried about? We were just attacked. Surely you should be used to that by now. Random bandits litter these lands. What did that letter you were reading say? That they were after you and only you. Not me. I can't believe it. Looks like it deals with your father's estate. They probably want you and him both gone so they can take it. I could have died. Without making a name for myself, I'd never be worth anything at all. I won't let anyone hurt that face. No pain, no glory. How about you take me inside and show me a little pain? Oh, how I would love to do so, but this news... Someone aims to kill me. How could we possibly ignore such a thing for pleasure? Then where does that leave us? With a task at hand, clearly. Think what you must, but I can prove the truth to you. I just need your help. I'm not surprised. I'll let you know if you can have it. Are you ready to find the whole truth of what's going on? Always. I knew you would. You already believe they're after me, and you're right. I want to have proof in my hand saying why. The truth always comes out. It will. And then I can finally follow in the footsteps of Odysseus. Don't the stories of Odysseus mention how great of a lover he was? Do they? I must have missed those. We could read more about Odysseus. Together. Is that your idea of fun? Reading can be sexy. Maybe naked. That's a great plan. We will talk more about us once this is all done. First, the note you found was from the leader of Megaris. There has to be proof of what he's up to. <sighs> if there is, it would be at his home. Then go there. I'll find the proof you need. Good. I want this whole thing to be over. I'll be back with proof, whatever it may be. I should head to the leader's house to find out what's going on. That's the place. Any proof to be found should be there. I'll need to be careful. This place is heavily guarded.
this letter claims that Odessa hired other mercenaries. I wonder why. The leader of Megaris tried arranging a marriage for Odessa. Sounds like an easy way to get her father's estate. This letter mentions Odessa's estate and how crucial it is that they get it. By any means necessary. One of Odessa's suitors died mysteriously shortly after meeting her. The leader of Megaris is after Odessa's estate, and he's tried arranging a marriage for her to take control of it after her father dies. But these letters also claim one of her suitors was killed, and nobody's sure how, though she's been known to hire other mercenaries. It's difficult to tell if Od You've returned. I hope with good news. Before we get serious, how about we finally have some fun? I appreciate your help, but I'm not sure. I thought there was something between us. At times it felt that way, but not enough for me. Let's keep our focus on what's important here. After everything I found, I know what's going on. And what's that? You started this all. They don't want you dead because of your family's wealth. You're only pretending to be a victim. I'd even guess the man you were supposed to marry was killed by the mercenary you hired. I asked you to help me, not blame me. You were supposed to bring me the truth that would allow me to start my journey. You can start that after we have a little fun. You're joking, right? You just told me this whole thing is my fault. The last thing I want to do is sleep with you. Thought I'd try. So that's it then. I guess there's nothing else to do. It doesn't have to be goodbye. Why not join my crew? After you sided against me and said it was my fault? You deserved it. But you still almost tricked me into believing you were fully innocent. It was impressive. Thanks, I think. Plus, your father should be fine now that you have proof they've wanted you both out of the picture. They wouldn't dare attack him while you're gone. So, what do you say? <sighs> fine. What else am I going to do? That's the spirit. to break it to you, but your brother was killed. Killed? Get out of my sight before I hire those bandits to slit your throat! I'd like to see you try. Ah, Mistios! Well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. All things get better with age, don't they? Even you. The Oracle said that if I'm to live a long and happy life, I need to stay young at heart. But I mustn't lose focus. I need your help more than your magnificent body. I'm glad to hear it. Korigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. I hope I'm as feisty as you at your age. I'm feistier now than I've ever been. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir 
which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients. If you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. Elixir uses ingredients like this. from this. Mistyos, you're back! And not a moment too soon. I got what you asked for. Who is this Afxesia? This is the Mistyos who's going to reignite our spark, my love. Oh no! We've been through this. I can't satisfy you anymore. You're going to kill me with your lust. Nonsense! I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save me! I cannot do this anymore! Your husband is tired. Allow me to satisfy your hunger. I've never been with a mercenary before. Very well, let's see what you're made of. Did she... have fun? That should hold her, for a few days at least. Thank you, Mistyus. Here, take this as payment. You've more than earned it. Cassandra! Get over Ooh. here, you spineless jellyfish, you! Malaka! If it isn't the eagle bearer herself! You got big since Kefalonia. And you got old Photios the dog's breath. Last time I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. <laughs> my ship and my beard. These days, thankfully, I've semi-retired. <laughs> Do people pay mercenaries here more than they did in Kefalonia? <laughs> of course they do. Better than Marcos, that's for sure. Everyone pays more than Marcos. You're lucky I took all his crazy contracts. <laughs> I was a false learner. He's a rotten cheat. I only accept the easy stuff now. I'm working as a watchman this very moment. The cushy job. Most days. Once a mercenary, always a mercenary. It's a job you can never shake off. Right you are. I'm learning that all the more now. Trouble goes and comes back twice. Did something happen? <sighs> a couple of priests ransacked this treasury. They took the Zaphires offered by a Thracian king. The bastards. <laughs> Your employer won't like that. No, but you like this. Make an example of the thieves. You find them and the Zaphires, and I'll pay you much better than you're used to in Kefalonia. All right, I'll help you. But... But what? You know, my help doesn't come cheap, Photius. <laughs> you are always reliable. Deadly and Drachmi hungry 
but reliable. Shouldn't be long before I find them. This must be the cave Photius mentioned. Those priests came this way. Sign of the sapphires. Here they are. Bit of blood on them, but the sapphires still shine. Cassandra, get over here, you spineless jellyfish, you. Good news. Found the Zaphires. Should I ask why they're bloody? Well, the priests couldn't cut it as thieves. <laughs> if I were only a little bit younger, I might have tried to cheapen the reward a bit. Good thing you got old. <laughs> Here's a little trinket from the treasury. No one will miss it. Let's hope not, or you'll send another mercenary after me. Goodbye, Photios. <laughs> If you ever see that dog, Marcos, again, tell him you demand minimum wage. Can I be of service, Priestess? The people have turned from Athena. Their loyalties have been stolen by false prophets. Athena will sort it out, with her sword and shield. I hope she will grant these worshippers wisdom instead. They're not being led by priests, but by bandits. Bandits? Ones pretending to be priests, you mean? Exactly. They accost innocent people and demand their possessions as offerings. They're causing harm and giving real priests a bad name. And you want me to kill all the bandits? That would be the idea, yes. The gods are smiling on you. I've already done it. By Zeus, thank you. Please, take this as a reward. I always finish what I've started. Is it a big hurt or a little? Will the hurt go away? Tell you what, you have to scare it away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. <laughs> Good job. Now, run along home. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Lycaon. You must be a Mystheus. Are you here for treatment? That depends. Will I have to roar for you too? <laughs> Sometimes the best medicine I can give my patients is a dose of hope. I take it you're not in need of care. I'm healthy as a horse. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them growing by a little stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. A pack of wolves is resting near the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to Mystheus. Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack at them for my patients. Then we'll see. I'll bring you the herbs. You said they were southeast of here. Yes, by a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but the leaves are a distinctive gray-green. Thank you. He counts that the herbs would be near a little stream. That looks like it. These 
This must be the herd Klikaun wanted. There should be enough mandrake herbs. Time to go back to the physician. Here, I found your herbs. Thank you. I'll prepare these for my patients. Could you please stay a while? I'll wait. I've crossed the herbs so they'll be easier to take. Could you please bring them to my patients? Just tell them they're for me, Likaun. I thought I brought you more herbs than this. I needed to save a double dose for my grandmother. I'll give it to her soon. Sure. I'll just deliver the rest then. Thank you. All my patients are in and around the Hora of Delphi. One should be at the animal pens to the west. One is building a house in the northeastern corner. And uh, one works in the fields to the south. Come back here when you're done. I'm sure I can find them. Likaun made this medicine for you. Thanks. See, I take care of these beasts, and Likaun takes care of me. Too bad nobody takes care of him, though. What do you mean? His parents died young. His grandmother raised him, but then... she was born under a cursed star. Never mind that. He's a good boy. I'm sure he is. Herbs are from Glicaon. Oh, thank you. That physician is so thoughtful and so handsome. It's too bad he's decided not to marry. Why not? He just told me some nonsense about not wanting to burden an innocent woman with his worries. Personally, I just wish he'd been honest and said I'm not his type. I wonder why he'd say that. Gaon sends his regards. The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um... My grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Yes. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. Thanks for coming with me. You say you killed many people. Why do you ask me that? If someone is impious to the point of doing grave injustice to people as well as the gods, do they not deserve punishment? What did Praxithea do? She spoke false prophecies for years. Those who came to her for advice received only lies. Your grandmother was an oracle? Yes, up on the hill in Delphi. She confessed to me recently that she never heard the gods and only repeated the words she was told. Told by vile people with evil intentions. Exactly. Wars have been fought over those words. She can't be left unpunished. I... My family was torn apart by a false prophecy. If it was one of hers, I may take matters into my own hands. Where are you going?
Get out of here, Likaon. I know what you want to do. You'll just bring more shame on our family. I don't want to do this, Agavi. But for the sake of justice, we can't let Praxithea live. It's out of our hands anyway. Some strange men were searching the village today, looking for her. I brought them here, and they dragged her away. What kind of justice is that? You won't understand. She was an impious old fool. Now we have nothing more to worry about. Who are you, anyway? I'm Cassandra. I've also been wronged by a false prophecy. It might have been your grandmother's. If we don't find her, we can't settle any of this. Please, help me figure out where she's been taken. I'll look for clues. What did you expect me to do? All that talk about killing? A solution shot up, so I took it. Praxithea must have lost this bracelet in the struggle. But no ordinary thief would have left something so valuable behind. This looks like a contract. Deliver the package to the drop-off and don't damage it. If they mean Likaon's grandmother, chances are she's alive. I'm surprised Apollo himself didn't strike her down long ago. Anything strange going on around here? Well, if bandits taking over my cousin's farm is strange, yes. What did they do? Gave her a running start. She can't go back there. They've set up camp, and they're armed and dangerous. Interesting. Where is that farm? It's not far west of here. But I wouldn't mess with those bandits. Thanks for the advice. Praxithea was kidnapped. ...and brought to a farm west of here. The bandits were hired to deliver her alive. Thank you for figuring that out, Cassandra. I'm no fool, Likaon. Your sister put Praxithea in great danger... ...and you've been asking me about killing. Do you want me to end her life? No. It has to be me. I need to kill her. She's your grandmother... ...and you're no killer. You should give this more thought. She's my responsibility. I don't want her to suffer. That's why I asked you for Mandrake. It's a painkiller. But for now, will you go to the farm to stop those bandits? I don't think I can take them all on myself. Let's go find Praxithea. Thanks, Cassandra. You said the farm was to the west. I'll miss you there. Must get away from here. Could more bandits be coming? Please, let's get out of here. <sighs> thank you for saving me, dear child. Don't thank me, voice of Apollo. Or were those someone else's words you spoke? So you've met my grandson. You're right. I lied to everyone. I am so sorry. The gods should have killed me by now. Instead, they made me live with my remorse. Why did you spread lies? People trusted you. You were supposed to bring them the word of Apollo. I didn't plan to, not when I was chosen to be the Oracle of Apollo. But I met people there who told me I must speak the words they asked, or else my family would suffer for my disobedience. Family? Do you remember telling a Spartan family that their younger child must die? A grieving mother, with eyes like mine. I am so sorry for what you have lost. Did she tell you? Is she the oracle who brought ruin on your family? I'm sorry for what I've done. I accept my punishment. But please, don't let my grandson kill me. Likaon's a good man, a healer. This would break him. No, this is my responsibility. 
I must be the one to end her. I've killed enough people to know that violence has no end. Better to move on, and make the best of the lives the gods have given you. Move on? But you said Praxithea ruined your family. She can do no more harm. Killing her for revenge won't change what happened. Besides, didn't you tell me something about hope? Thank you for your mercy. I promise I will do good with what's left of my days. You're right, Cassandra. I might not be able to forgive my grandmother, not right away. But she can go on with her life, and I with mine. I think you've made the right decision, Ligaon. Ah, oh, how do you do this? Decide who lives and who dies. How do you do it, Ligaon? All those lives depending on you, needing your healing and kindness. I... I, I think I need you, Cassandra. Not to kill anybody or find anything. Just to stay with me. I can't stay forever, but for now, let me take care of you, healer. Sacred ground. You should not be here. Well, either leave or tell me what you want. Who are you? Amistheos. I'm not here to start trouble, but if that's what you want, I'll end it. Your name? I'm Cassandra. Some called me the Eagle Bearer. I am Daphne, leader of the Daughters of Artemis. And you are maybe exactly who I've been looking for. And who would that be? A warrior! A hunter! One who straddles our world and the gods. One who will meet my challenge. When you put it like that, how could I not accept? There's a boar not too far from here. Kill it, then bring me its pelt. You want me to kill a pig? This is no ordinary boar. Let's see if you are worthy of my challenge. Kill it, and bring me the pelt. I'll be waiting. ...with your reward. Choose another path, traveler. The way ahead is not safe. What's the problem? Ah! <sighs> 
Did you get lost? Here, I killed your piggy for you. Hmm. You are skilled. Of that there is no doubt. I have plenty of talents. Of that you can be sure. Oh, is that so? Well, I look forward to putting them all to the test. Oh? And what did you have in mind? <laughs> Many things. But first, to business. There are beasts that roam this world, but are not fully of it. They've been placed here by the gods as trials, as tests. Neither god nor mortal has stopped me so far from achieving my destiny. Hmm, we will see. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to prove your worth in the eyes of Artemis, and hunt these creatures. I don't need to prove my worth to anyone. Just tell me what's the reward. With each pelt you return, I will grant you a boon from Artemis. If you are able to slay all the beasts, well, let's say your relationship with the daughters of Artemis will be forever changed. All right, I'll do it. Now, just how many of these animals are there? Artemis has laid out eight trials, and you have already started the journey. Hunt down those that remain. How will I recognize the creatures? Oh, you'll know. Bring the pelts to me. I'll await your return with my sisters, the daughters of Artemis. I hope you don't make me wait too long to see your face again. <laughs>